Hey, hello investors and future investors. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will show you two stocks that can be used to generate weekly income. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. On this channel, we help you with option strategies that can give you consistent revenue and everything related to finance and investments. And yes, you too can make money from your living room with options trading. And I'll show you how. And all I ask in return for this free content is an early thumbs up by you hitting the like button. And while you're down there, consider subscribing for more ways to win with options. Welcome to Investment Gains. Let's jump right into it. So for today's option strategy, we're going to go over the cash secured put. And I'm going to show you two stocks to use right now to generate about $100 weekly. This is going to be perfect if you're trading with a small account. So let's go right into it. The first talk for today's video is going to be American Airlines. So let's go into trade American Airlines option in order for us to open up the option chain. Now that we have the option chain open, in order for you to do a cash secure put, you must first go to sell and put. And then now we're allowed to choose our strike date. Now we're just going to choose a strike date just one week out, which is going to give us October 8th. Now, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking for a strike price below the current share price. And the criteria for us getting that price, we're going to look for a chance of profitability. Now, the chance of profitability is going to be around 75% or higher. Now, with that 75% chance of profitability or higher, that's going to give us the 20.5 strike price. Now, we're going to click into that. We're going to hit continue. And we're going to choose the amount of contracts we want, which is one. Let's just hit review. And voila, there you have it. So on Robinhood, it does not say cash secured put, but it will say short put. So if you do see short put, do not worry, you are doing it correct. So the first part of this strategy, once you're able to do it, you're going to receive a minimum credit. That minimum credit is going to be $32. Now, that $32 is yours to keep no matter how this trade goes. Now, you could do whatever you want with that $32, it's yours. The second part to this option strategy is going to involve your collateral. Now, in order for you to do a cash secured put, you must leave a collateral. The collateral will be in the form of cash. So for this trade, you're going to need to leave $2,050 in cash as collateral and you're going to be able to do this strategy. Now, the cash secured put is an extremely good strategy for new investors and people with small accounts. What it does is that it gives you premium right away and it allows you to learn this strategy while you're learning other strategies. Now, let's get into our second stock for today, which is going to be ChargePoint, ticker CHPT. Okay, so here we are on the ChargePoint option chain. And once again, we're going to go to sell and put and we're going to choose our strike date once again, October 8th. Now, like I always say, in order to make this strategy the most effective, you're going to want to choose your strike price below the current share price. Now, for this one, we're going to go with the $20 strike price. We're going to click into that. We're going to hit continue. We're going to choose the amount of contract, which is one, and we're going to hit review. Now, why did I choose the $20 strike price instead of going for the $19, which is going to give me a much higher chance of profitability? The only reason why I'm going with the $20 strike price is that I have already done my due diligence. And I do understand that a $20 strike price is a very good price to choose at this current market volatility. So let's get back into it. So right away, once you do this strategy on ChargePoint, you will receive $61 minimum credit. Once again, that $61 is yours to keep no matter how this trade goes. Now, in order for you to do the cash secured put on charge point, you will need to leave a collateral of $2,000. Now that $2,000 going to be released back to you depending on how this trade goes. So I'm going to go through how you win this trade and how you lose this trade. Now, in order for you to lose this trade on October 8th, charge point needs to be trading at $20 or above. If that happens, then you keep your minimum credit of $61 and you get your collateral of $2,000 released back to you. And that allows you to trade again for the following week or the following month. Now, the other way this trade could go, if again on October 8th, ChargePoint is trading at $20 or below, 
then once again you keep your 61 dollars minimum credit like i said that's yours no matter how this trade goes but then you're now forced to buy a hundred shares of charge point at two thousand dollars so now you have actually lost the cash in your buying power but now you have a hundred shares of the stock now all is not lost now that you have a hundred shares you could turn around and do another strategy which is going to be the covered call strategies i have several videos on the covered call strategy i will link one to the top now why would you want to do a cash secured put you want to do a cash secured put in order for you to be able to acquire the stock at a much lower price than what is currently trading at so let me give you an example right now if you were to buy charge point charge point would cost you two thousand and sixty two dollars but if you were to do a cash secured put and october 8th charge point is trading at twenty dollars or below then you would be forced to buy a hundred shares at twenty dollars and not twenty point six two which is a win-win for you now when doing the cash secured put it is advisable for you to do the cash secured put on very good stocks because there is a likelihood that you will get assigned the shares now the one tip i could give you for doing a cash secured put always make sure you choose good stocks now in my opinion charge point and american airlines are very good stocks the reason why you want to choose good stocks is that if you are assigned the shares you do not want to be forced to buy 100 shares of a crappy company now in my opinion i think a crappy company is one of those companies that have huge fluctuations in either direction if you're able to find a stock that pretty much trades as flat as possible then that's a win for you now the whole objective of this video is to make weekly revenue now the weekly revenue you will be making is the minimum credit now your minimum credit on charge point plus your minimum credit for american airlines will run you around 95 dollars now 95 dollars multiplied by four weeks which is going to give you almost 400 dollars now if you were to add your collateral for those two stocks which is going to be two thousand dollars for charge point and two thousand and fifty dollars for american airlines that's going to give you around four thousand dollars so this strategy is going to be perfect for someone trading with a small account now we have lots of strategies like this on this channel so if you want to join the weekly income team like and subscribe right now also hit the notification bell to get an alert when i post a video but most importantly share this video with someone you think that can benefit from its content let's help as many as we can thanks for watching and remember always push your investments.